Let's talk about invoicing versus sales receipts. We use invoicing when we need to bill a customer on account and then later receive payments here. What happens if we receive payment at time of sale? QuickBooks calls that a sales receipt. Let's record a sales receipt from our customer Bob Crenshaw. Let's click here and let's pull in Bob Crenshaw. Here Bob comes in today and he needs five trees. He gives us check number 340 and he buys five of our citrus trees. He gives us a check for $357.23. Next, we have two choices. We can either group this with other undeposited funds or we can deposit this check directly to the checking account. Let's talk about both scenarios. If your business receives a number of sales receipts and you hold them in a cash drawer or in a bank bag, then you want to lump these together with undeposited funds. And we're going to show you in a later video how we're going to then record our deposit from undeposited funds. If your business normally takes individual checks to the bank and deposits them, then you want to choose the second choice here. Let's demonstrate this a little bit further. Let's look at the chart of accounts. Here's our undeposited funds account. Notice right now it has a zero balance. Now, let's click Save and Close on this transaction because we're going to group it with undeposited funds. Now, let's go look at the effect on the chart of accounts. Now you can see our undeposited funds account has a balance of 357.23. When we record our bank deposit later, QuickBooks will move this amount up here into our checking account. 